Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have finally after a really really long time a Louis Vuitton unboxing and I'm really excited to show you what's inside of this bag. It's gonna be a different type of unboxing because this time I didn't only buy it, I actually bid for the bag. I'm gonna talk about everything so I hope that you guys like the bag but let's get into the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou and I make videos about handbag shoes and traveling, but mainly handbags. If you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, first of all, I just want to thank Whatnot for sponsoring this video. You probably have never heard of Whatnot before. I didn't know what it was and now that I know what it is, I'm actually a little bit obsessed with it and that's where I got the bag from. So let me explain what Whatnot is, the process of how, why I got the bag and showing it to you of course I know that most of us we are used to either buying the bags directly from the store or buying from resellers that have their Instagram pages and their websites um, it can be fashion file it can be riddle logs it can be season to consign but whatnot it's a little bit different so I don't know if you guys like shopping from live streams I've been on live streams I really like how they work and whatnot is an app that I'm gonna show you right here this is the app whatnot is an app that offers live shopping and I think that live shopping is super trendy right now it's honestly a lot of fun so you download the app and it started as a platform where people could do live streams and they auction items you join the live and you can bid for things and it's actually quite easy but they recently started to get into designer bags so what that is not the one who you buy the bags from they're just the platform so for example I know that all of you guys know season to consign they're gonna have live streams on the app and you are gonna be able to buy season to consign bags bidding on the app for me, it's a new way of shopping and it's a little bit more fun because you're not just gonna go through the website and check out when you can see the lives. You can actually see the people who you're buying the bags from and you can see their personalities. You can ask them questions, you can do a lot and bidding is an entire experience. I did bid for this bag and honestly, at first I was scared but it's a lot of fun because when you join the app, they ask you for your address already and your payment information. So when you join and you bid on something, if you win the bid the item is yours they're gonna ship it straight to your home and they don't need any more information because it's already on the app and the app is super safe I actually added my PayPal information because something that I will always advise you guys if you're gonna shop luxury items on the pre-love market and not directly from boutique PayPal always backs you up as a buyer so if anything goes wrong and uh, you're not happy or I don't know something bad happens PayPal is always gonna back you up and it's really safe for you to buy through PayPal so the fact that whatnot offers PayPal payment for me it's a relief I really prefer always putting my people information rather than my credit card you don't need to check out you don't need to do anything the item is yours is gonna be on your doorstep you get to ask questions like if you want to buy let's say a tote and they're showing the tote you can ask them hey does this fit does that fit and they're gonna put the items inside the bag and you're gonna see on live first of all the warranty of the bag they're gonna show you everything and if you have any questions you can definitely ask them to show more or a close-up they can show you what fits how it looks and most of the people that do lives like Mika or season to consign they're really really fun people so I think live shopping is gonna be a really big trend this year so I think that whatnot really hit the nail with this new shopping experience they do focus only on selling authentic items let's not forget that selling fake items is a federal crime and if you happened to get a fake bag that I don't think that it will ever happen they will ban the seller and they only accept people that are anthropy very so I've seen how season to consign authenticates their bags and I fully trust them and if there's any seller that ever sells a fake bag they're gonna get banned from the app so you don't really have to worry about that some items start at one dollar and then people start bidding and the price can go up but some items start at one dollar which is quite crazy for designer items and on many lives they do have giveaways so if you join the live you have a very good chance to win a giveaway because there's not many people there and I do hope that a lot of resellers luxury pages start Start joining whatnot so we can have more lives all the time so the app is gonna remind you if there's a live stream going on or when there's gonna be one so you can add the alarm at like 6 p.m. and you can just hop in grab your wine or have dinner while you watch the live stream because even if you're not buying it's kind of fun being there and watching it and I hope that at some point there's like live streams 24 7 so no matter the hour no matter what's going on you can always like hop into whatnot and watch a live but sorry about the rumbling I'm gonna get into unboxing the item but I didn't want 
wanted to explain before I unboxed it like the process of how it is. So when Whatnot reached out to me, I decided that I wanted to be it on an item. And I joined a live and when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I think it's time. I need to have it. The price was really, really good. So it was really scary to bid on it because I was scared that someone was going to win it. But I ended up winning it and I'm really happy about that. The shipping was super fast. And it's finally a Louis Vuitton bag. I know that it's been quite a while since I unboxed the bag. It's the first time that I bid on anything in my entire life, especially a designer bag. So I'm really happy with the outcome. Speaking of, I am actually going to be on a live at Whatnot and with Season to Consign. So I know that you guys really like Monica and Erica. I loved going with them to Miami. I'm going to put the dates and the times in case you want to join. I would definitely love to see many of you on the live to say hi, even if you don't want to shop um, just for support. I get really, really scared when I go on lives because I don't know, there's always so many people watching the lives. Like the other day that Celesta was on one, it was like 800 people. If you want to be there to watch and support me, I would be very, very grateful because I'm a little bit nervous. So it's going to be on the 6th. I'm not sure about the time zone. So I'm going to put here on the text, but I'm also going to post it on Instagram in case anyone forgets. But yeah, let's open the bag. I'm 100% sure that no one is going to guess what this is. I've talked about wanting this bag one time in one of my videos with my boyfriend, with Polo, and that's it. This is something that I wanted when I started buying into luxury bags and then I just kind of let it go and forgot about it. And I saw this bag recently and then I started to see it a little bit more on Pinterest and I was like, okay, I think that it's time for me to add it. And this was like the perfect opportunity because the seller that I was watching on the live, she had two of this, but let's see what it is. Kind of already opened. And it's my first vintage Louis Vuitton bag. I don't have any vintage bags. I have my vintage Kelly, I have a vintage classic club, but I don't have a vintage Louis Vuitton bag. So this is my first. The dust bag does look brand new and the packaging too. So I do want to give credit for that because usually the vintage bags, they don't come with packaging and this one did. I'm gonna explain the reasons why I got this bag, but first, um, I think it's time that I show it. I just don't wanna annoy anyone like not showing the bag, but. I know that I already have my Palm Springs Mini, but this is the Vintage Monsuris PM and it has a lot of wear and tear and it's already super, super used. For me, it's a little bit of a sentimental piece because of how I started really into luxury items. I'm gonna show you the live stream because I did screen record it because I knew that I was gonna make this video. So it was the first item that she showed on the live and I knew that she was gonna post it because sometimes you can see on the live when it's scheduled the items that they're gonna list so you can pre bid or when you join you can just like bid right away so I knew that I was gonna bid right away so I joined the live and she showed it and I didn't really care about the warrant here because I know that this bag is gonna be not heavy use but every day and I used to be so scared of a cheddar leather and honestly not anymore so I think that's gonna be really good for me I lost my fear for lambskin and now I want to lose my fear for bachera so this is gonna be a great bag I definitely have been missing a little bit lower tone in my my life and I know that I said that I was not gonna buy many monogram pieces but I do feel like this is a beautiful stunning bag and it was really good price in my opinion so basically the first time that I wanted this bag was when I started buying into luxury and I wanted to get the Palm Springs mini shocking for me when I went to the store and they told me that there was a six month waiting list for the bag I couldn't believe it I honestly didn't know that there was such a thing as the luxury reselling world that the bags maintained their value that they were hard to find that resellers existed I had no idea that that existed so then I went back to my house and I started researching like options to the Palm Springs mini and then I found this one specifically the PM size and the thing is that when I went to the store I was already obsessed with this they told me that the Montserrat line was discontinued that I couldn't buy it anymore I was really sad but they told me that they were gonna release a new edition of this bag I'm gonna put a picture of that bag and when it got released I put myself on the waiting list and I actually bought it and it was just not the same. The straps started to crack. Crazy. I didn't like the fact that it didn't have the bachera bottom that this one has. So for me, it really made no sense on keeping it. So I actually sold it because I didn't really like it. I kind of made my peace with not having this bag. Three years later, I was able to get the Palm Springs Mini and the Palm Springs Mini is one of my favorite bags out there. But lately, I've been really loving the very used bachera look and I'm going to put you some 
examples of pictures right now like with the Kipal and the Speedy with a very worn out leather so I do want to wear this bag daily I think that this bag is very aesthetically pleasing to me I use my Panzer's Mini quite a lot so I thought that this was gonna be the perfect addition to my collection I only have one backpack this is gonna be my second one it does fit quite a lot and this pocket is very very useful and very decent so I'm more than happy with the bag but while beating I felt like the adrenaline that I was gonna fight for the bag if anyone else bid for it something that I do want to mention is that new users can get $10 off your first order so if you go through my link to sign up on the app you're gonna get $10 off which is always really nice I think also going for vintage items that I think that it's the main thing that whatnot focuses on but I hope that they grow enough to offer everything like Elmas bags um, brand new Chanel classic flaps SLGs shoes and stuff like that so I hope that that happens eventually but for now I can only tell you that going for vintage bags in my opinion is a very good way to go if you want to save some money because this is obviously way way cheaper than getting the Palm Springs mini that is actually really hard to find and they have keepalls they have SLGs of course giveaways too so yeah I just wanted to introduce everyone to whatnot and I hope that I can work with whatnot again because it was a really really fun experience and I hope to see you guys on the live please just let me know that if you like the bag or not I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and they are also on Instagram I'm gonna leave all of whatnot social media on the description box down below but of course the main thing is the app and I wish that I had my Palm Springs mini right now to compare it maybe I'm gonna do a comparison review later on probably that when I'm already in Barcelona I know that you're gonna see this video like quite soon after filming it but today is the last time that I'm gonna film in this room and I feel a little bit sad about it they're gonna take the furniture away like my shelves and my couch and the, all of that on Monday or Tuesday I think and today is Thursday so I have just a couple of days left on this room kind of feels like end of an era for me and uh, sitting down and filming this video feels a little bit um, sad but I mean good things are coming I'm really excited about Barcelona so if you want like a comparison review between the Palm Springs Mini and the Montserrat PM please do let me know in the comment section down below and I also wanted to ask you I got another new lens um, this is a 16 millimeters the other one that I was using was 35 millimeters and I was getting so many comments about my face being too round so I started to get a little bit um, self-conscious about it and I switched back to this one which is like the normal one the regular one that every youtuber uses so do you guys like better this one or do you like the other one just go and look in one of my recent past videos and let me know which one do you guys like more I also got this one because with the other one I have to film quite far away and I probably will not have that much space right now that we're moving in case I want to vlog so I got this one for the sake of having something that I can film a little bit closer to the camera but let me know if you like the new lens maybe the quality is not the same the other one is a little bit more expensive it's a very nice lens that I'm gonna use from time to time I'm gonna switch them back and forth I think but yeah this was the video I hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so much whatnot for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for always being so supportive with my sponsorships I hope that you guys enjoy checking out whatnot please if you go on the lives or if you check it out or if you have any questions about it feel free to reach out to me or to comment on the comment section down below but yeah if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye